Hello everyone, I'm going to explain you how we simulate uh, reactors in series in Aspen Hysis. This uh, problem I adopted from uh, self assessment uh, test uh, from Himmel Blue. So, this is the problem, problem number two. And I will also show you what is the book title here. This is the book basic uh, principles uh, and uh, calculations in chemical engineering by Himmel Blue and Riggs uh, this is the 8th edition so let's uh, go to the problem and then we will uh, understand how we simulate this in HISIS it says that a simplified process for the production of uh, sulfur trioxide uh, to be used in the manufacturing manufacturing of sulfuric acid illustrated in figure so what is happening in the figure uh, basically we have the air which is uh, being burnt uh, with the sulfur and we have some unburnt sulfur we do have the conversion of this reaction available because it is not the 100% reaction we have SO2 oxygen and, and nitrogen coming out of the burner and these are uh, going into a converter where we have the second reaction which is uh, sulfur dioxide plus oxygen give you sulfur trioxide and again this reaction is not 100% so we have uh, as an outcome we have SO3 of course and we do have SO2 and oxygen and the nitrogen so sulfur is burned with the 100% excess air this is uh, the moles of the air which are used uh, in the burner uh, but for the reaction sulfur plus oxygen gives us SO2 only 90% conversion of the sulfur to SO2 is achieved so our reaction conversion is 90% in the converter the conversion of the SO2 to SO3 is 95% complete calculate the kilograms of the air required per 100 kilogram per hour of sulfur burnt and the concentrations of the components in the exit gas from the burner and the converter in mole fractions so we need to identify what is the kilogram of of the air required uh, in this case Consider the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure of 101.3 kilopascal for sulfur and air streams. So let's uh, go into the HISIS and we will work on this. So our components uh, are SO2, oxygen, uh, sulfur and the nitrogen and sulfur trioxide. So let's start uh, with the new case study here. And once we click add we will add our components so we have oxygen here we have uh, nitrogen here then we have uh, sulfur sulfur is taken as a amorphous sulfur the next component is SO2 as you can see that it is here and SO3 we are not adding air in it as uh, it is uh, mentioned in our problem that's because air is a mixture of too many gases like argon neons uh, and uh, we are not including them in our calculation so that is why the major component of the air which are oxygen 21 mole percent and uh, nitrogen which is 79 mole percent we are taking only those two, two components the next step is uh, we choose the fluid package because uh, this is a gaseous system and for this one uh, pangrobinson is the most uh, suitable fluid package as you can see that HISIS is also okay with this. The next is we need to go to our reaction tab and add our reactions. So the, my first uh, reaction is in the burner which is sulfur plus oxygen give us SO2. So let's work on this. We click on add and click on add reaction. This is a conversion uh, reaction so I can uh, click on add reaction close this and double click on RxN and add our components for the first reactions which are uh, sulfur then we have uh, oxygen then we have our SO2 and in terms of the stoichiometric coefficient uh, if we go back here we have uh, one mole of uh, sulfur combining with one mole of oxygen giving us one mole of SO2 and for the reactants uh, in high cis we take the negative of the component so this uh, coefficient should be minus one and oxygen uh, should be again minus one 
because it's a reactant and the product is SO2 we can write down plus 1 or 1 as you can see that the balance error is 0 here if uh, you will include air here for the combustion you will see that the balance error will not come as 0 because as I mentioned there will be too many other gases present in the air and then we need to confirm that our base uh, component is uh, sulfur here and uh, the reaction is overall and the conversion as, as we can see that uh, in our statement this uh, conversion is the 90 percent so we can just uh, use this here as a 90 percent and now you can see that high is, uh, is uh, ready with my inputs and now I can close this the next step is we need to attach uh, this uh, to our fluid package you just click on add to FP and click on add set to the fluid package it will be added now our second uh, reaction is uh, we have the oxygen half mole of oxygen combining with SO2 and they are providing you SO3 the important step uh, which I want to highlight here do not add add reaction into your set number one because in high cis it will uh, consider if you add the second reaction over here it will consider that uh, you have uh, one reaction going into the system which is not true so for each individual reaction you need to develop a new set every time how you do that just click on the reactions again and here click on add now the same procedure as we are doing before however the difference is ICES characterizes uh, reaction based on these sets so in set number one I have my first reaction which is sulfur plus oxygen give us SO2 and in set number two I will set up my SO2 plus half mole of oxygen give us SO3 now the same procedure you add the reaction this is a conversion reaction reaction and double click on this so in the next one I have uh, SO2 which is uh, sulfur dioxide I have uh, oxygen and uh, I have SO3 so let's go and check again I have one mole of SO2 combining with half mole of oxygen give us S one mole of SO3 so this is uh, my minus one here because it is a reactant and minus uh, 0.5 for the oxygen and the product is SO3 so this is my plus one or one and now the balance error is zero which means uh, ICE is okay with my reaction and the next one we need to make sure we have SO2 as a base component and reaction is overall and here the conversion in our second uh, reaction this is given as 95 percent so I entered this information to HISIS this is my 95 percent and now HISIS is ready with my reaction here you can close this and again you need to attach it to your fluid package now as you can see that uh, set 1 is ready set 2 is ready now I am ready to move to the simulation here we are uh, working with the conversion reaction this week we have done uh, CSTR we have done PFR plug flow reactor and now we are doing conversion reactor just click this and bring that into your simulation we double click this and now we have uh, the stream of it will be your sulfur and then we have air and uh, for the vapor uh, phase let's say I have the gaseous output gaseous uh, products which will be SO2 and some oxygen and some nitrogen and in the liquid uh, outlet as you can see that I have unburned uh, sulfur here so this will be your unburned sulfur in the next step uh, the HISIS is, uh, is asking us uh, what is the reaction for this again you go to the reaction tab and uh, you see in the drop down menu again if you have uh, by mistake added your second reaction which is SO2 plus half of the oxygen ICES will consider that reaction into set 1 which will be wrong so 
I am dealing with the first uh, reactor. So, in the first reactor, I know this is uh, the conversion of uh, SO. S, S plus uh, oxygen gives us SO2. So, I will choose my reaction number, set number 1 here. So, this is my set number 1. And the next is we need to provide our data for the streams. So, let us go and see. Our conditions are the temperature is uh, 25 and the pressure is 101.3 kilopascal for both sulfur and the air streams. So that is the information we need to add in our semi-hyses here. So for the sulfur the temperature is uh, 25 degrees Celsius and the pressure is uh, 101.3 kilopascal and uh, the same conditions are for my air. And in terms of uh, flow rate for uh, air, I have 29.76 uh, kilogram mole of the flow rate. 29.76. This is the molar flow rate. And uh, for the mass flow rate, we have uh, 100 kilogram of the sulfur burned here. So, this one will be mass flow rate here, which is 100 kilogram mole per hour. Now, we need to provide uh, the compositions here. Let us go to the composition. In case of sulfur here, we have a pure component of the sulfur, which means my amorphous sulfur will be 1 and the rest of them will be 0. So, I can just click normalize and press OK. However, in case of the air, we know that uh, it is consisting of 0 0.21 mole of oxygen. It is a mole fraction. Just make sure the mole fraction is selected and the nitrogen is 0 0.79 and the rest of them are 0. So, you can just normalize them and press OK. So, as you can see that HiSys has uh, simulated uh, my conversion reactor which is uh, the first reactor in our system. So, let us uh, analyze uh, some of the results here. So, in our uh, outcome, this uh, gaseous product on the top, uh, we can see that this is the temperature 1441, the pressure remains the same 101.3 kilopascal. This is the molar flow rate 29.76 kilo mole per hour. And uh, if you want to see how much is the composition we are getting the gaseous product. So, we have uh, nitrogen 0.79 because it is an inert gas and it remain inert in the gaseous product and uh, oxygen quantity has been reduced because it has consumed uh, with the sulfur and uh, the amount of SO2 is 0.0943. There is no SO3 because in this reactors we have only SO2 formation. If you are looking to find out uh, more details, just go to the reactions results and you can see that reaction conversion is 90%. We can also see what is the reaction balance here. So, we have 6.250 kilo mole per hour of the oxygen out of which uh, 2.807 were consumed. The negative sign shows that the consumption, the positive sign shows that the production or the leftover. So, the leftover is 3.443. In case uh, of the nitrogen, a very minute amount which is uh, ignorable is used or I can say that nitrogen was completely inert. Now, the sulfur uh, is 3.119 and out of this uh, 2.807 kilo mole per hour was consumed and the leftover is 0.3119. If you take these numbers, you will see that the conversion will be 90%. SO2 was not uh, formed available in the start, but it did form uh, at the end, which is 2.807 kilo mole per hour. And there is no SO3 because we have not uh, moved to the SO3 formation. So, these are how you analyze your results. So, let us uh, go and uh, find out the next one. In the next one, we have the converter which is converting SO2 into SO3. So, again we go to our flow sheet here, models and uh, go to the reactors and 
bring your con conversion reactor again double click on this for this one the input uh, should be my gaseous product here so you just click down and select the gaseous product and let's say the vapor out says i say that uh, gas uh, gases outlet and for the liquid i can say that uh, let's say the liquid as outlet we just need to name them in the reaction tab you go to the reaction now it is a time where you need to choose your set number two again if in the properties uh, you have added uh, so 3 reaction in set one you will not be able to convert your reactor here so i will check my so2 and uh, as you can see that uh, ICS has converged uh, my reactor again before i close this window i just want to show you if you are not sure what reaction you are including in your system you can just click on the view reaction and here it will show you what is the reaction which it will add based on set number two so this is so3 formation as it is plus one so we are good with this so you can close it and now we can uh, see that we have converged uh, our both reactors and if i want to study this uh, reactor again so these are uh, in my gaseous uh, outlet i have uh, this temperature 1657 the pressure remain the same 101.3 kilopascal and this is my molar flow rate if i want to see what are the compositions here so these are the composition that the oxygen is uh, 0 0.0747 it was 0 0.1157 when it was entering the reactor now with the reaction of the SO2 this has been consumed and uh, this is the nitrogen 0 0.8271 there is no amorphous uh, sulfur because all sulfur now has been consumed however we do have the SO3 formation which is 0 0.0938 and uh, there is uh, slightly less uh, SO2 left now because we have uh, uh, reaction of SO2 with the oxygen and we get the SO3 if you want to see more details go to the reaction go to the results as you can see that this is my 95 percent conversion as it was mentioned in our uh, statement as well and uh, click on reaction balance here you can see that uh, oxygen flow was 3.44 kilo mole per hour and out of that uh, oxygen 1.333 kilo mole has been consumed and the leftover is 2.11 kilo mole this means we can still uh, use this gaseous stream uh, for oxygen reaction if in the system if we have to and the nitrogen remain inert here 23.51 and the, there is no marfa solid however there is a formation of so3 which we wanted to have there was no so3 in the start because uh, in the start uh, there was no reaction so once uh, we have the reaction of so2 which is 2.807 it reacted with the 3.443 kilo mole of oxygen and uh, we have 2.666 kilo mole of uh, so3 and so2 which was already coming from uh, first reactor it uh, 2.807 kilo mole out of which uh, 2.666 uh, were consumed and we still have 0 0.1403 present kilomole of SO2 present in our outlet stream. So I hope uh, this helps and if you have any questions uh, you can email me or you can see me in my office. Thank you.